hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome as well today's video we're going to learn how to make a wrap dress if this is something you like to learn kindly watch this video to the end so i already folded my fabric into two using the biggest part of the body measurement which is the hip and the quarter of the hip is 10 and a half plus extra five and a half inches okay so the next thing is to measure from the starting point is to measure the length of the um the chest line of eight and a half and then the waistline of 16 inches the hip line of 24 inches and a shoulder to shoulder measurement half of it is eight inches and then you create the armhole curve you know i've done a lot of this on my channel all right so the neck width i'm using is going to be okay the neck depth for the front is going to be one inch all right and the neck width is going to be three inches and then i'll just go ahead and curve it out because we are going to be cutting the back first before cutting the front so i'm going to be taking the quarter of the bust measurement plus one and a half inches allowance i'll also repeat the same thing for the waist the quarter of the waist plus one and a half inch sewing allowance then the quarter of the hip plus one and a half inch sewing allowance actually the lower part of this gown is going to be in form of an a shape okay so i'm just going to mark the hip as a guideline all right so here is the waist and here is the hip so the like i said the hip is just going to be like a guideline so that after taking the a shape from the waist to the lower part of the gown i'll be sure that i still have the hip measurement in place so the lower part you're going to be using the quarter of the hip plus four inches which is going to serve as the a shape and one and a half inch for joining allowance okay so i'll go ahead now and mark this so i'm going to mark the quarter of the hip here okay i'll mark the quarter of the hip and then add four inches for the a shape and then one and a half inch for sewing allowance So once that is done i'll go ahead now and take the shape from the bust to the to the waist and then from the waist to the lower part of the gown okay you can see that after putting my tape through the 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 mark was almost not up to where i have the hip so after marking it you just go ahead and make sure that you still have the hip measurements in place So once that is done i'll go ahead and curve it out since our hip is not straight i'm just gonna curve it out and you should have something like this once you are done now for the length of the gown the full length of this gown is 58 inches okay but this particular one is going to be 48 inches so the remaining 10 inches is going to serve as the ruffles that i'm going to attach to the lower part of this gown okay so this the particular length of this one right here now is 48 inches plus half an inch for joining allowance at the lower part i have 48 and half so at the shoulder area i will also add half an inch for joining and at the neck as well i will also add half an inch for joining for turning it with the lining because i'll be using the lining to turn it out so i'll just go ahead now and start cutting this out so right here now is the front bodies okay so what i did was to measure four and a half inches from the center front okay the center front is folded so i marked four and a half inches at the center front so after doing that i will bring the back bodies and place the back bodies on the front okay on the front bodies i'll place it just like this making sure that the center part of the back is touching that four and a half inches mark that i made there just watch what i'm doing i'm just trying to place them on on top properly so you should have something like this after you are done okay so i'm just trying to extend the waistline 
so from the waistline i'll go up by two inches okay that two inches is where i'm going to be attaching the rope okay you can as well just slant it from the neck to the waistline but i want the rope to relax well so that is why i'm marking two inches above the waistline okay you can see what i did so that is where you are going to attach the rope now from the neckline you just mark a slant up to that two inches that i marked upward from the waistline so you can see what i did here now if you don't want it straight you can just curve it down a little bit if you don't want it straight you can curve it down a little bit the way i'm doing it now so once that is done i'm also going to add half an inch allowance for folding allowance to fold to turn it with the lining i'll also add it to the front neck as well so once this is done i'll go ahead and cut off the front neck so you should have something like this once you are done and the next thing i'm going to do now is to use the um the back to also cut out the front so right here this is what we have after cutting this out so i'll just remove the back bodies from the front all right so i'm just trying to cut this down a little bit so the next thing i'm going to do now is to cut the lower part of this gown so i'll come to the lower part of the gown all right and i'm going to create a curve but before i create the curve i'm going to take out the one and a half inches sewing allowance okay so right here i'll just make the curve now for you to know where you, you the curve is going to stop you can just mark your either your hip line or your knee line okay so and then you stop the curve around there so for this i stopped at the knee line i marked the knee line and, and then i stopped at the knee line so you take the curve from the knee line to the side seam to where you have the side seam so you can see what it looks like so and after so when you cut this out okay so when you're trying to attach the ruffles to the front one part of the front the ruffles is not going to extend to the waistline okay but the other part of the front the ruffles will extend to the waistline so i'm just showing us if you want the curve to extend to the to the to the hip line is what i'm trying to show us here okay so before i cut this out what i'm going to do now is to mark what i have after the sewing allowance okay i'm going to mark it to where i have the four inches to where i have the four inches allowance okay and what i have there is around is around 19 inches so i'm going to mark that 19 inches like this okay so that point where i marked now is where the one side of the front ruffles is going to stop okay but the other side of the front wrap the ruffles will extend to where i have the waistline why the other side of the front wrap the ruffles will only stop at where i marked that 19 inches mark i hope you understand what i just explained so if you now want to come out come up a little bit from that mark by one inch it is totally fine just make sure that it doesn't extend beyond one inch from the actual measurement that i have out that i have up there so just go ahead and cut this out i'll also cut this out so you should have something like this you can see this is very easy so you also notch that part out so the part where the ruffles is not going to extend to the waistline is going to fall to the left side of the front wrap why the 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 other wrap which is going to which is going to be the wrap the right wrap the ruffles will extend to where i have the waist line okay so what you're going to do now is to measure what you have around from after the side seam to where you have the waist okay you measure what you have there and what i have there is about 45 inches so 45 inches into two and we have 90 inches remember that the other wrap will not extend to the waist but i decided to 
mark this to the way so that I can I can pleat the remaining allowance around there. So you also mark the lower part of the back as well. So whatever you have there, remember it is on fold. So whatever you have there will also be into two. So I have 14 and a half, which means into two will be 29. So 29 plus the 90 inches we have at the front will give you 119. So that 119 was 4 inches for joining the 3 flounces and folding it at the end together, you have 123. So 123 divided by 3, you have 41. So since we are dealing, we are cutting 180 degree peplum, which is a half circle, so the radius of a half circle is going to be 3.14. So 3.14 divided by 41 is going to give us 13. So the radius of each of the flounces is going to be 13, okay? And the length of the flounce is going to be 10. All right. So 13 plus 10 will give you 23. So this will enable you to know how much fabric you need to fold. So the radius I'm going to use now is going to be 13. All right. So what you are going to do is to fold the fabric first into two. And then you now fold it again, forming. So this time around, it will be forming a triangle by the time you fold it the second time. You fold it first, which will be into two, and then you fold it the second time, which will be into four. And it will be in form of a triangle. And the radius is going to be 13 inches. All right. So you can see how I folded it to form a triangle. And then I'm going to be marking 13 inches all around. All right. So just watch what I'm doing. I'll mark 13 inches all around. So after marking the 13 inches all around, I'll also go ahead and mark. 10 inches which is going to be the length of the flounce and at the top here i'll also had half an inch for joining uh, this to the lower part of the gown so i'll just go ahead and cut this now so here now i'm going to use this to also cut out the remaining three flounce okay so after cutting the three flounce i will now go ahead and join the three flounce together and at the end of them i will also fold the end so this is my sleeve this is just a normal basic sleeve nothing much about the sleeve i'm going to use a lining to turn the lower part of the sleeve okay so the lining is going to be short by two inches than the fabric all right so right here i've gone ahead to join to turn this fabric with the lining all right and i've joined the rope Okay, so the rope, I think the rope is about 60 to 67 inches. So it totally depends on how long you want the rope to be. All right, so I think I have about 64 inches for the rope. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to, is to stitch the side of the gown. So you are going to place the front on top of each other, making sure that the the wrap will overlap each other. You can see what I did here now. That is how you are going to place it on each other. Just make sure the line I have there is overlapping each other. So once you are sure it has overlapped, then you go ahead and take in all the quarter of the... You take in your allowance, okay? So I'll just go ahead now and take in the, the bust measurements, the waist measurements, and the hip measurement then... I'm going to connect it to the lower part of the gown. So just watch what I'm doing. Hey okay, guys, so I've gone ahead to take all the measurements. So I'll just take this to my sewing machine now and sew it down. So once that is done, I'll also attach the sleeve. I've gone ahead to use the same fabric to turn the sleeve. I'll attach the sleeve and also attach a pocket to the side of this gown. All right. So once I'm done, I'll bring it back for us to see the final look of it. So right here is the flounce. I've attached all the flounce together and I've folded the lower part of the flounce. All right. And also each last side of the flounce. Now you can see where I'm marking. That is where the left side of the front wrap ruffles is going to stop all right remember where i marked when i was cutting the fabric okay so that is where the left side of the rough of the wrap ruffles is going to stop and the right side of the ruffles we extend to where we have the rope that is under the place we have the rope which is where we have our 
waistline all right guys this is final look of the dress and i hope you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel this gown is really beautiful the video is not doing justice to this gown now for you to pass out the rope you need to create an opening on the right side of your gown so you just measure one inch above your waistline and leave an opening there which is where you're going to be passing the rope from so for so remember the left side of the wrap the ruffles is not going to extend to the waist while the right side the ruffles will extend to the waist so this is what it looks like so guys thank you for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye